I, I think with uh, being the type of band that we are, kind of kind of an underground thrash band, you know, touring, you know, in like a van and stuff like that around the country, um, it can be a little hard to keep members to want to keep going and pushing that hard to, to you know promote an album or multiple albums and stuff like that. Um, so what you know, basically what happened from the last album to this is just. Uh, you know that that kind of lifestyle for people. You know, it can it can be a little rough, and uh, at certain points, then people kind of want to, you know, when they're in their mid twenties and stuff, they want to kind of go off and start being the adult in their life. And I'm the guy that's like, you know what? I don't want to do that. I want to be uh, irresponsible and live at home as long as possible. <laughs> and I want to uh, want to go and tour in you know in a van and, and maybe something in a bus and uh, have some people that want to do that and everything that comes along with it. You know, a lot a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication to writing music, to, um, to touring, to promoting, you know, and, and just revolving your lifestyle around that. So basically, um, that was kind of the factor that led to the, the change in, in lineups. And I thought that he was interested in taking my drummer from my band, so I like didn't respond at all. I was like, because <laughs> had they never announced they were looking for a guitar player, because those are really easy to find, you know, so they they're announced that they were looking for a drummer. So when he called me, I was like, no, dude, you can't have my drummer, he's fine. And then, uh, so Marco emails me, he's like, so did you ever get a call from Jules? He uh, was interested in having you like try out for the band. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I thought he wanted Greg. No, 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 sure, yeah, no, I'll do that, sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's worked out, I think, so far. So far, so good. <laughs> Lyrically, it, it just ended up being a lot about, uh, you know, humanity, I guess, and you know the direction that we could you know we can kind of be heading in if we're not careful you know you have everybody in this day and age has you know such a, a short attention span you know there's social media there's signs yeah. here there's this on TV and everything's quick 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 and then there's also something that I don't usually talk about you know I don't usually get into politics and stuff like that I know a lot of people have arguments over this stuff but I kind of just sit back and listen to people and like see how they view things and there's a lot of there's a lot of conspiracy theories out there about like you know things our government doesn't want us to see and like things that are being put on the news just to like control us and put our you know get our attention to divulge in that area or this area and I kind of see like that's almost kind of true in a way I mean I'm not gonna be like that's what I think it is you know like some people think certain certain things are the way they are I, I just kind of see like that's kind of what I see when I look at like in general like the American public in a way you know media most consumption and fear. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, media consumption and fear and just that like it's like, hey, there's a swarm of killer bees coming this right. summer. Everyone's right. like, oh my god. This and is what like, you should be afraid of today. Exactly. And it never happens and then everybody just moves on. Then there's another thing like SARS outbreak. I mean of course some of these things did happen, but some of them just go away and it's like right. what's happened to them? Bye bye bye. Fear. Bye 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 this. Fear. Exactly. So I don't know, I, I guess that kind of the songs all kind of have their own theme, but it's kind of like the general theme is is that, and it just kind of became that. I don't even know where. It's just kind of like, you know, a metal band. Let's write something a little bit more mature, not just all about like Satan, death, killing. You know, which is I fun. Know. It which is. is fun, but it's you know fun what? to write about that, not to do it, but to, to write about. That. kind of always searching for like the perfect song name or the perfect song title, something that when people go, they're like, okay, oh, oh, like it, it kind of, it's more than just like, you know, like Bloody right. Massacre or something. It's like, you okay. become very obsessive compulsive. Yeah, 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 it's like trying to name the perfect thing. And then of course with the album, I thought it was, um, you know, something. I, I kind of, I don't know if this is exactly where I drew the, the parallel from this, but I guess one thing that, uh, you know, the new album's called Fear Beyond Lunacy, and actually the, the strongest track and the one that we're probably going to be uh, focusing a lot on is called In Fear We Trust, um, which I kind of think both have kind of a catchy name to it. And I, I kind of I kind of took a little bit of a parallel from the Slayer thing with the Rain in Blood and then the song Raining Blood, kind of like, it's like not quite, but it's kind of the same. And there's, there's a few other bands that do, you know, that. I mean, that wasn't exactly my thought, but I was like, hey, that kind of, that kind of works, but again, it's like, not calling to one specific song. I think I kind of think it, it shows it like that one. You know, when you know you're a person looking at a CD or an album, you're like, oh, okay, here's the, you know, that name of the album. And then immediately if you say like, hey, there's the title track, and let's say you've never heard of the band, most people kind of typically go to that because it's like they expect it to be a strong song, which I think in fear we trust is. But uh, I think there's definitely some others. So I guess I kind of wanted it, a little bit more room to breathe for people to kind of make up their own opinion. Hi, this is Clayton and Jules from Hatchet. 
Subscribe to Louder Noise. The loudest noise on earth. Bye.